Well, as the world continues to grapple with the shortage of personal protective equipment due to the coronavirus pandemic, a number of individuals are responding by making equipment like face masks and overall. This time, a Nigerian makes 3D printed face masks. Take a look. My name is Angela Badaru. I'm a manufacturer from here in Lagos, um, manufacturing um, part, um, spare parts and um, uh, items in plastic for now. Angela Badaru is responding to the global pandemic by developing 3D printed face masks. This, according to him, will help address the shortage of personal protective equipment caused by the virus. One shortfall has been the um, availability of safety gear and um, protection, personal protection equipment to, um, to first of all, to begin with, uh, medical staff and as well as those who have to be active in this period. Um, so we've swung into action, turned our little garage into a manufacturing, um, you know, integrated manufacturing now, batching out um, units and of. Um, protective covering to go to the doctors in the hospital, to the surgeons on the, in the theatres and, and things like that. Um, With COVID-19 constantly disrupting various sectors and even routines, Angela decided to turn his production capacity towards generating the medical equipment using 3D technology, all aimed at ensuring the safety and protection of frontline health workers. Fortunately, because we already had a manufacturing operation, we had some raw material that we could use instantly, and so we decided to use it. But it's difficult sourcing materials now because of um, the markets have been shut down, there's really no movement. We're able to at least get some amount of uh, mobility here and there, but if we could get a little bit more of that, then that would be great. The other thing is access to markets. Um, it's necessary to reach and understand, to reach, we, we can prospect, we can forecast, we can do our market analysis, um, but as much as we're trying to address the current issues of treating those who may be falling sick, we want to be able to look forward and say how many more could. In that effort, it would help us to prepare for what may come. Face masks are an essential protective equipment in this fight against COVID-19, but now they are not only scarce, but expensive. While hospitals, universities and research centers across the world are looking for ways to produce face masks on a massive scale to help curb the pandemic, individuals are also contributing their own quota to help fill the gap. And that's the program today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Tenyola Shubawale. Have a lovely weekend.